Hi guys. Welcome to Honey Grove, Texas. This one supposedly was discovered by Davy Crockett as he was passing through here. He sent letters back to Tennessee telling people about uh, how cool it was and about Look at this. Uh, plentiful trees filled with honey. Man, that is amazing. It is. It looks like That's it the was. Bank right there, it looks guys. like it was burned recently. It looks weird. It may just be the way it's discoloring. I've seen some buildings do that. This place is really cool this says already. Buggies, harness, speed, seed, hardware, and coffins. What's coffins? That's what they put the dead people in when they bury them. The box. Oh man, they had a big fire here. Oh wow. Yeah. That whole place was destroyed. That whole place was destroyed. Man. There's a little bit left of that A little one. bit left. I wonder what that was. An old Dr. Pepper sign? Uh, Coca -Cola fabulous, sign. refreshing Coca-Cola. Nice. Wow, this one's collapsed out onto the sidewalk. That's pretty amazing. Which I'll point in the right way here. That one is gone. There's nothing left of it. This has got the old wood shingles here on this. On uh, the awning. awning. No roof on that one. Awning's mm. still standing. This one's completely that collapsed. Clip and cut. There's the haircut in place. Beauty salon. This one's for lease. What's for lease mean? For rent, kind of. Oh, you, you can, can pay somebody to put your business yeah, yeah. there. That one's, see that sign up there? It was. Uh, originally it was a sign and then they flipped it over and they painted over it and they made it another sign. So there's actually two signs there. One's upside down. Well, that wow. one's empty with no roof. That one. Honey Grove Meat Market and Produce. Cooper Mercantile. Cooper Mar Mercantile. Ready to wear garage. They claim to be the sweetest town in Texas. Up here is the mural that says it too. Greetings, Greetings from, from Honey Grove. Grove, sweetest town in Texas. Let me show them this one. Where do they say the sweetest town in Texas? Let me see. This thing. Oh, that Angel. is awesome. They need some work. But look at the chains holding up that awning. That is freaking cool. That is cool. Here's the Mason Lodge. There's the Mason Lodge right there. It's got a historic marker on it. I'm not sure what this is right here in front. Uh, City, City Hall. Hall. Wow, that's an old one. Yeah, it's got a historic marker on it too. Let's go over here and see it. See the Honey Grove City Hall. Eighteen eighty-five. Cool. Old, um, what they call them, the Magnolia Station. That might not be what it is, but it's kind of shaped like it right across the road. I don't think we're gonna fit under that one, guys. No, I don't think so. Let's go see what that one is over there. The big red one. Yeah. Okay. Big red roof. Honey Grove, Texas. Looks the big awesome white one, already. I that think. one, the mom, that one, it looks like a castle. It does kind of look like a castle, doesn't it? I think Davy Crockett was right. This might be a cool place to live. This really is a cool place to live. Yeah. Yeah, because that's that old school or something down there that we saw on the way in. Let's figure out what this is. Freaking cool. Whatever it is. 
Looks like a church, Methodist yeah. church. Oh, look at this house across the street, too. It's so old. Wow. Look at all that stained glass on that thing, guys. That is so beautiful. It's amazing. Here's the McKenzie marker. Church office. Here's a historic marker. McKenzie Methodist Church. Texas. Earliest Methodist held in the Union Church of Honey Grove, 1840. Right behind it is looks like the old school. This or is something. the middle school, Honey Grove Middle School. Honey yep, Grove High School. On the building says high school, and the sign says middle school. <laughs> look at that look house. At that house. Wow. It's wow. kind of weird that it looks like those campers at the school. That's a mansion. Look at this place. I'm gonna show them that camper because that's no, like look at the big one, that though. thing's from the 50s or something. If somebody's still living there, that's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna show them all these windows that are knocked out. Look at this! Look at that car! Let's show it. It's from like the 70s. This is the old high school, guys. All the windows are knocked out. Not all of them, but a bunch of them. Show them the mansion. I just wanted to show them this real quick. The current population is 1,730. All of them were knocked out. So it's open up right there. All of them were knocked out. Oh, yeah. Crazy. I wonder why they had to abandon that one. Just easier to build a new one instead of trying to revamp the old one. Probably. Whoa! Look at that basketball court. I mean, most of the time it's not. It's not cost effective. Look at that. That's, That's crazy. 1939. 1939. Oh, there's artwork in the windows. We got the front locked up. And this looks like the gymnasium on this That's side. That's all the gymnasium. Okay. So what's that? Nothing building there. The red was the church? Yep. Show them the mansion. Oh, that is so cool. It's a pretty amazing place, guys. Yeah, I go that way to show the control of the old car. amazing. Old car. Look yeah. at all these houses over here. Look. I know. But we're seeing the backs of them. Yeah. These are all All old, of them. houses. That green one's fixed up really well, look good. It looks like they moved it in. Yeah, it looks like they might have moved it in. Oh, yeah. The old truck. The old, old truck, TV. yeah. Didn't get a good shot of it. Sorry. Another good one right here. There's another really old one. Wow. wow. Look at that. So this place was it. established. Man, that is freaking cool. Whoa. So Sorry, we probably got pretty. much glare in there for y'all. Look at that one. Amazing. They have a nice basketball court. Yep. Even though it's one hill, it's still stuck into the ground. This one up Another here is nice so cool. Top of the roof. Look at this square one. That one's so odd. Just, just cause like it's square. That one doesn't look like it fits there. It doesn't. This one is cool. Wow. That is so cool. Oh, look at that small house and then look at the big house compared to it. <laughs> it's pretty big. Yeah. Look at that small house and then look at the big house. Big house. This one goes to the next room. Here's for sale then. or rent. Yeah. Here's the buses. Found the transportation department. Bus barn. Bus barn. They are the Warriors. Honey Grove Warriors. This is definitely one of those places I could live. I like it already. Me too. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. I think the brothers would like it too. 
Yeah. That day was here. Yeah, we're here. And there's the new schools to the But they wouldn't be right. here. They wouldn't want to be here over there. That's a house behind the house. There's something over here that's collapsing. Wow, look at how big this one is. Wow. Is that a zip line? This one is sad. Oh, no. Sad. They had a guest house in the backyard that collapsed, but this one doesn't look too good. Looks like yeah, it looks like this one looks like it caught fire. It's a burnout. Yeah, that one's caught on fire. Yeah. Look at the door. Oh. Oh. Found the skeleton flamingo. Flamingo yeah. hey, I just caught a very Look last glimpse Look at of it. Yeah, but he's laying in the yard. Can you show him this two story over Look here? Down. It's for sale. Not that one. I want to open this getting the this one's for sale by owner. Probably not worth much. We could buy it though. Right Let's here see. in the middle of the town. Actually, never mind. It doesn't look that good. No, that whole back half is an add on. It wasn't all done very good. This one's completely abandoned over here. I think they would just take their house back because it's not very good. Would they? Ooh, look at that squirrel in there and that one. See him? On yeah, the roof? I see him. You got a weird hop. What? Who's on the roof? A, a squirrel. squirrel. With a weird hop. Brand new one across the road they're working on. Oh, they're working on it? Yeah. Hello, grocery store. Hello, grocery. Looks like she's shut down. Yeah, they're not. Hello, grocery. Hello, no grocery store. What do y'all think? Oh, I'd say she's gone. She shut down. Hello, no groceries. Wait. No groceries. There's a person. Where? Goodbye, grocery. Look, that truck. There's a person in the truck? Uh uh. I don't see a person over there, and it's There's okay. No Look. Over there either. The, it looks truck. like they'd be in their yard. What is that? A little church down there. What is that? The the oh, Mexican restaurant. Mexican restaurant. Mexican cuisine. We could just move that one in too. I Get never tried Mexican right food. <laughs> you never tried Mexican food, huh? You know we eat tacos like four times a week, right? Where the park at? That park is at in Honey Grove, Texas. Went down that way. We saw some stuff and things. Went down. Don't McDonald's serve a dinner? Don't they serve dinner? They serve food. You can eat it whatever time of day you want. There's the kitty. Yep. Hey, Fluffy kitty. kitty. Big fat kitty. There's meals. Okay, we found a kitty. Found the motorbiker. Didn't find the motorbiker. He looks. Did he go down that road over there? I don't think so. Look at his bike. His bike is cool. bike. It is cool. Well, I found the dollar store. Family dollar. Are you waving at the bicycle on to the motorcycle man? Hello. <laughs> well, I don't yeah. think the motorcycle guy can hear you. No, he's seen him waving at him though, I'm pretty sure. Uh oh. He's pulling her out. Dang!
It's already done charging, Dad. Yep. We just changed batteries. There's the chickens. There's two chickens. They're laying eggs out here by the road, taking a dirt no, bath. No, they're huh? taking dirt baths. Oh, that rooster's coming after them. There's the puppers. Rusty was dancing. Hey, kitty and puppers. Hey, Pooch and kitty. Honey there's, Grove, Texas. There's seven kitties. Oh, I little didn't see that. Little bitty town, little bitty roads. They got a really cool, historic, old part of town. But the rest of it looks just like any of the rest of these small towns. Mom's trophies. Oh, got the trophies. Skeleton there. Yep, there's the skeleton. Drinking a beer. And flipping me off. Yeah. Rude. Rude. He didn't even offer you a beer. He just flipped you he off. He just flipped me off. Didn't even offer me a drink. What happened? I saw a skeleton and he was giving me the finger. Oh. I'm going to beat that skeleton up. <laughs> <laughs> One shot knocked out. These are so cool. Yeah, I think it's set up as a business. It looks like historic or something. A tire and oil. Look at this collapsed gazebo here. Oh, wow. I'm going to make a block here. Saw a few interesting things like no, this. Like this collapsed gazebo. Hopefully, nobody was in there when she went down. I uh, know. And over here, it's church that they are working on uh -huh. with a historical marker on it. Nice. Ah, this so shiny. Yep. Oh, wow. That's Look a at big this one. one. Big old nice yard. Big old dog. Where's the dog? Get him here, Wow. Yeah, like this I one over here. This, this one over here was something special. Pink one. Somebody put some work into this one. And they're finishing up right here. Like they poured it up the garage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sucker is pink. Look at that front porch, front porch, guys. Very pink. Nice swing. Uh, the swing was made out of a footboard. A headboard? A headboard or a, a footboard. Board. We've got First Baptist. There's a little, uh, well, they have many different churches over here. Where's information on the Fifty three degrees, about four o'clock. Honey Grove, Texas. Almost, almost dinner time. Davy Crockett liked it a lot. He liked it enough to write letters back home to Tennessee to tell them about it. And a lot of people good. have pink houses. A lot of people have pink houses. I've just seen a couple. I see my That one's for sale. I saw like four pink houses. I didn't count. These were all definitely old places. Oh, that was neat. They turned a tree stump into like a fairy house. There's the park. We were looking for well, that. We found it. Park? I want to go park. the park. Go go drop us a tag. Yeah, and then let's see if they have a merry-go-round. Yeah. 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 Merry-go-round. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But if go. they don't, let's still play a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna still play a little bit. Alright. It looks like they don't even have a mega rod, but I don't see much. Let's so. see, it looks like they have a historic marker at the park. Oh, yeah. How about true. that? I ain't gonna look at You got a little bit of basketball hoop. Oh, oh no. yeah. This guy's flame over here. Yeah. He's doing real good. Is he? Yeah. Doing you know why? Because huh? he he's practices. out there practicing. He might be friendly, he might not. He might not. Might be. He might let us play even, even offer us. Wait. I might ask. No, we're not going to go over there. Why not? 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. That's pretty cool. Their park is only closed from 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. That's not bad. Most of them close at like 9 o'clock at night or something. They say you can hang out here till midnight. Ours, it's not not between midnight and 4. That's I think ours is 10 to 6. Crockett Park, named for Davy Crockett. David Crockett. The colorful Tennessee pioneer and congressman who rallied to cause of Texas in her war for independence. Late in 1835, Crockett traveled by riverboat, horseback, and on foot, entering Texas along the Red River. Camping at a site half a mile northeast of this park, he found wild bees and honey in hollow trees. In letters to family and friends, Crockett called the campsite a honey grove. It is said that he told his friends he would settle here later, but in a few weeks he died in cause of freedom at the Alamo. One of Crockett's old friends, Tennessee surveyor Samuel Irwin, became the first settler here and first postmaster. Benjamin Walcott, arriving in 1848, added land of his own to, the, to his wife's legacy from James Gilmore. With Irwin as co-founder, he platted town of Honey Grove on the Gilmer Grant. He also erected the first stone building. By 1885, Honey Grove had many businesses, including a weekly newspaper, the Independent, Gulf, Colorado, and Santa Fe Railroad reached here in 1887. A peak of 4,000 inhabitants was attained in 1890. Situated on the land bought from W.J. Irwin, this park provides recreation for for a dynamic community. Let's go look around. You got a tag? Yes, I do. I'll do the tag. Here. Oh, wow. My They'll climb up that ladder. Ours had the shiny bottom on it, didn't it? I think so. Come on, let's go drop this tag. Yes, I do. Watch out, I'm gonna jump. Oh. Oh. Didn't get it. <laughs> climb up here, huh? Come on, climb up here. There it is. Right there. Right by the steps. Ah, wind is 
very cold. Ooh. Buckle up. How about this tree over here? They need a big chainsaw too. Ooh. Oh, man. At least it was just the garage and not the whole house, right? Right. No, oh, and the kitty was waiting to get inside. <laughs> Another abandoned one with a tree on it. And a completely collapsed storage shed in the back. Another tree right there. I wonder what kind of condition that thing is. And then tree on on right in the front of that one. I guess all of these are. Man, that one's wide open. Completely. Crazy. Haircuts. Honey Grove haircuts. I need to get a haircut too. And they, it looks like they turned house. this one, they turned it into a house. That's awesome. That's really awesome. It's such a pretty church. It is. Angel Christian right church. From, uh, uh, In the window? Yeah. The, the stained glass the stained angel. Glass. That sucker's bright right there. That is an odd shade of red, isn't it? And then that one's just weird with the towers in the back. And it's so square. Why is there a square tower up there? <laughs> the whole house is very square. Huh. Let's look at the front of that. Here, show them the front of that. Oh, yeah, it's got that weird carport, too. Right. It's fixed up nice. It they is. Did a good job with it. Look at that weird tower up it's, there. It looks like it's got like 12 foot ceilings or something. Huge. <sighs> Might be the end of the road, guys. Look at this. Looks like it goes down to the creek or something. One more house here. Just turn around. Two more houses. Oh, it's just the walking loop, I guess. Is anybody walking down here? Hi, Gucci. Can't it go through? Yeah, it looks like it goes go through. through. Okay. Barbie Jeep up there. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta go Barbie Jeep in the off road too. <laughs> yeah. that sucker dead and couldn't get it back to the house. Yeah. They're training her to be a true Jeep girl. <laughs> Down there loading up the firewood. Okay, I don't know if this was a road or not. Way. We did it. On some towers up there. Negro, Texas. That's a high stop sign. Oh. That abandoned skull is so interesting. Oh, we don't want to go that way. Cruise back through town and get on out of here. I like this downtown. It's really cool. It is. It is. 
it should be. Oh, yeah, 34 and 56. I think we're going to take a right, head on out of town. See what it looks like on the way out of here. 34 southbound. Southbound and down. Big old good red house. See you next time. Turn left on southbound highway 31. 34. Oh, 34. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go on a quick stop. We're not even in New Town yet. We're heading on out of town, guys. Goodbye, Honey Grove. See y'all next time. We didn't find no honey filled trees, but we'll come back and look again. Catch you on the next one. Hit that subscribe button. Go check out our friends at the Crazy Travel Addicts. Doing great things. See y'all next time. Bye, y'all.